Hi, this is a new segment of the YouTube channel for filament reviews. I buy a fair amount of filament and I receive a fair amount of filament in MakerBox samples as well. So I thought I would start doing uh, formal reviews of these filaments. Uh, for the first filament, I'm going to do this Hatchbox wood filament. This is my very first wood fill filament. I have not printed wood before. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I was going to have uh, clogging issues. I had absolutely no problems with clogging, which is good news. I do print using an E3D Nozzle X, which is a nozzle with a um, non-stick um, coating, so that may help with the clog reduction. Uh, anyhow, here is the Hatchbox filament. Um, looks like a nice roll. It came vacuum sealed. It came with desiccant. Um, seemed like good stuff. I bought it on Amazon. So for these reviews, what I'm going to be concentrating on is models that I print. The best way to show off a filament is by actually printing stuff with it. So let's go through these models one by one. So the first one is yet another filament sample, key card edition. When I get a new filament, I always print one of these. Here, let me put it on a nice background so maybe you can see it a little better. Um, this, it's nice because, uh, you know, this does test some holes. It has a thin spot here um, where uh, translucent filament you'd be able to see through it. It's got some cutouts, some grooves. You know, you can see here down the layer adhesion, here's another part where it tests uh, bridging. It does a lot in a little model. So here is the yet another filament sample key card edition for the Hatchbox wood filament. Turn it out just fine. Does it look like wood um, in a filament sample? Not really. Looks like a typical plastic filament sample. To get something that looks like wood, um, some of these models, I think, do look a lot woodier than something flat like a filament sample. So here is Baby Groot. Uh, it looks like uh, on Thingiverse, anyone who has ever printed anything in a wood filament has printed it using Baby Groot. So I made sure to do a Baby Groot with my uh, Hatchbox wood filament. It does look like wood to me. I'm, you know, I'm impressed with it. It's, it's got kind of a matte uh, wood texture to it. I, I think it looks good. Here you can look all the way around. Um, there is some nice gaps on this filament, which does uh, e does a good job of testing uh, stringing. And I, I've not really cleaned this up, so what you see here is what you get off the build plate. And there's like almost no stringing. Maybe a few strings I could burn off with a heat gun. But it printed well, really well. I printed this at 195 degrees on my Prusa i3 Mark III. So there is Baby Groot. Um, another thing I printed was this Dimetrodon from the Dinosaurus Collection. Um, this one looks kind of patchy. There's these lightly colored patches. That's because I tried to sand this. Uh, this was my first experience uh, sanding a wood filament. Sanding did not work out well for me. You can, you, you can see the discoloration. I, I think in part I just chose a difficult to sand model because this surface of this model is intentionally not smooth. It's, it's got a mottled skin for this dinosaur and there's all kinds of little crevices and nooks and crannies. It's a really, really well um, designed model um, and I like this author's collection of models but it's also, uh, I found it kind of hard to sand. and. Um, when I got all done, I kind of wished I hadn't sanded it. So I may actually print another one of these up in time uh, without sanding and see how it looks. Um, next up, we have a Sir Layers a lot. I always print my Sir Layers a lot at 60%. Uh, um, I've been doing that ever since I started uh, getting into the MakerBox samples because um, I, I like to maximize the MakerBox samples. Even though I do have a full roll of this filament that I bought, I still stick um, with the 50, with the 60% uh, as just a standard size. So this looks good. Um, you know, this, the Sir Layers lot, he tests a little bit of overhang there with the arm. He tests some slant here with the sword. Um, details here in the shield are clearly visible. The back is clearly readable. Um, and he does, I do think he looks like wood, you know, he looks like a little wooden figurine. And then finally, I printed a Mobius ring. Uh, the idea with the Mobius ring is I'm going to take it and sand it. I actually, you can see some whitish where I did start sanding it, and then I said, well, let me, uh, 
let me shoot a video before I sand the thing. Uh, but anyway, this is what it looks like, uh, mostly unsanded except for, you know, this one little section here I started sanding. Um, does it look like wood? Kind of, sort of. Um, again, anything that you do that's flat, I think these wood filaments start to look plasticky. So I'm going to try sanding this and we'll see what happens after it's sanded. Whether it looks less plastically and more woody or whether it just looks kind of the same. Um, Mobius ring being a single sided object should be really easy to sand. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go sand that and we'll see what happens. Here's the result after sanding uh, the Mobius ring. Um, I first started with 150 grit sandpaper and then I finished it up with 240 grit sandpaper. I've got it pretty much mostly smooth. It did change the color a little bit, uh, make it a little bit more whitish. There's still some spots like here and here and on the flip side uh, here and here that could have benefited from a bit more sanding. Um, it does have the texture of a sanded wood piece, I think. It does now kind of feel um, wood-like to me, and I think it does have some of the appearance. And I think, you know, what from what you can see left of the layer lines in there, uh, like in here, I think it does actually lend the illusion of it being a, a wooden model. So I think it was, I think it was successful on this particular Hatchbox wood filament with sanding, though. Um, for these, particularly for these two spots on each side, I would probably um, go back and do this some more if I really wanted to get it nice and make sure I got that roughness out of there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.